Welcome to MLAC Online tutorial. Before us is this question that says, what volume of hydrogen is liberated at 25 degrees centigrade and 800 millimeter mercury when 2.5 ampere of electric current is passed through acidified water for 3 point, oh sorry, from, for 5.3 minutes at STP, standard temperature and pressure. All right, now with this, let us recall that uh, one molar volume of gas at STP uh, is giving us a uh, 22.4 decimeter cube. So one, mol uh, one molar volume of gas gives us this. Okay, now writing the half equation for the association of uh, the acidified water, we know uh, that Alright, so here we have uh, that. So here we can see here that uh, 2 Faraday, definitely 2 Faraday should give us uh, 1 Faraday to give us uh, 1 volume of gas, 1 molar volume of gas. Alright, so with this effect now, let us find the quantity of electricity. Or invariably, we can see here that uh, 2 times 96500 columns gives a uh, 22.4 decimeter cube uh, uh, de decimeter cube of hydrogen gas. All right. So, for the quantity of electricity here, now we have now here we have uh, the current, which is 2.5. Now times the time, which is a uh, 5.3 times uh, 60 okay so uh how one we use calculator to do this uh this will go along with saying this 25 removing this uh expanding this okay let me just do like this 2.5 times 5.3 times uh 6 times 10 so here we have so the point for that you 25 times 6 times 5.3 this will give us a uh, 3 6 times 5 is 30 that will be now 6 times this one will be 150 then times 5.3 and this should give us a uh, uh, this should give us about uh, this is in a calculator here now we have a uh, uh, quantum of electricity here now be quantum of calculator will be Seven nine five, okay. Columns right, okay. So we've gotten the point of electricity. Now the question now is, if this quantity will give this, now what volume has this to be with this one produce? And take note, this is not actually the real volume. So for here we have. A, 2 times 96500 gives 22.4 then 795 will now give us 795 okay let me just make it more easier that will be x decimeter cube now cross multiplying we now have that x will now give us 795 times uh, 22.4 over 2 times 10 6 5 0 0 now punching our calculator we get a uh, 0 point uh, let me see 0 9 2 3 okay decimeter cube all right now that we've gotten this okay now let us recall p1 v1 T1 equals P2 V2 over what? T2. I did gas law. So I mean the general gas law. So here we know that uh, this is the gas. So here we have the pressure, the volume, uh, the initial.
initial the initial volume the initial temperature the final temperature uh, the final pressure the final volume and the final temperature all right so at this point here now we have this at stp all these ones are our stp so here we have that p here is given as a stp that will be 760 times our volume which is given as this 0 0.09 uh, two three okay let us to make it more clearer here so here we have over here yeah, standard temperature here of is seven two seven three then equals uh, our pressure here is given us eight hundred now times our volume is what we're looking for over the temperature which is twenty five uh, that will be 25 now plus uh, 273 which is a uh, 80 okay sorry 298 here you have 298 all right making a uh, making v the solar formula here so here we have that v equals now cross on the plane so I'm coming right here, so I'm coming right here. Alright, since you are making V sort of formula, so here you have 760 times 0 0.0923 times 298 over 800 times 273. Alright, so with this functional calculator in summation here, we finally get a 0 0.1. All right, this is the final answer. And if you love what I've just done, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you click on the description button to be notified of every video that will be uploaded on this platform. Thank you and God bless you.